Your commitment to yourself is the best investment you will ever make. Hi friends, my name is Mary Ma, your reset coach. I make these videos to remind you that you are not a failure just because you failed at some things. You are a work in progress and yes, there is always room for improvement. Again, it is never too late to reinvent yourself and you are never too old to start a new life or to have a new dream. Remember, this time you are restarting with a lot of experiences and learned lessons to take empowered decisions and actions. And action is the prescription for success. Hit that reset button, become limitless and unstoppable. One fundamental thing I have learned in my personal development journey is the importance to commit to, one's, to oneself. This is a self-care mantra that you will hear every time you discuss personal empowerment. But what does it really mean to commit to oneself? And why is this such a key component to your happiness and success? Committing to oneself has many advantages, and here are a few. When you commit to yourself, you are willing to forgive yourself so you can heal your scars and make room for new and bigger dreams. You are dedicated to your self-improvement, which implies you focus on digging within to unlock your purpose, core values, and find your way of serving humanity. You pledge to listen to the yes in your heart, which completely overshadows the no from the world. You are open to learn new things or skills, which will help you become a better person. You are ready to learn from your mistakes, embrace your imperfections, and face your fears and limiting beliefs, which means you no longer allow negative emotions to control your life. And this gives you a complete mindset, mindset shift and wires your brain to see new opportunities in everything around you. This wires your brain to look for the lesson in every pain you're going through. You learn to look for the silver lining in every dark cloud. You accept that old is, is always gold, but sometimes new is what to do to grow, which gives you the courage to follow your passion. Because whenever you think of giving up, you switch to a growth mindset and tell yourself, I will try one more time. I will try it in a different way. Instead of thinking, I can't do this, your growth mindset immediately rectifies it to, I do not know how to do this yet, and you commit to find who can help you to do it. When you fail at anything, you can proudly tell yourself that mistakes are how I learn and get better. Instead of thinking that it is too hard, you remind yourself that this may take me some time, so I may, I may need help from someone who has done it successfully to save me time. Ultimately, I do not know how becomes I can learn how. And so every day becomes a new opportunity to learn and grow. I would like to share this inspiring story about how a struggling mom of two turned her little invention hacks to suit her baby so she could juggle through her day into a multi-million dollar business. A single mom with two kids figured out a genius way to hook a baby speaker on her phone so she can play some noise in the background for the baby, which helps to soothe her. This gives her a little time to do some work while just having to check on her baby from time to time. She invented a baby carrier handle so she, co she could comfortably carry her baby for longer periods without feeling any pain when she had to and to prevent her baby from harming herself when chewing her metal necklace and earrings, she invented bite beads so her baby could bite and chew on them without problems. Sometimes the baby used them like toys. She thought that these were just little stuff she made to make life easier for her and her baby. She called it a passion project but did not relate it to any multi-million dollar business. One day, she went to pick her son from school 
and a conversation with her son's teacher changed her life forever. The teacher made her recognize how talented she was, inventing and producing simple mommy hacks to keep her child safe and also give her time to work. She then realized that if this was making life easier for her, then there should be countless moms out there who could also be helped with these inventions. The teacher explained that since she loved doing these mom hacks, she could easily start a business doing them, reminding her that when you do what you love, the money always follows. This conversation was like a clarity call and made a lot of sense to her. And so she gave it a, a long thought and was convinced to give it a try. But she had another challenge. She had no finances for the initial investment. But her son's teacher proposed to partner with her. She would help with the finances and find potential customers while the single mom would bring her talent and creativity, making it a win-win partnership. Fast forward, their business became so successful that they started helping and supporting other single moms. Her commitment to herself enabled her to invent lovely cost-effective hacks, created a flourishing business, and started living a life of abundance. Whether you are a stay-at-home mom or an accomplished professional, a growth mindset helps everyone to always see new opportunities. If you are ready to commit to yourself, reset your life and reinvent yourself, send me a direct message on Instagram in the link below this video for a free clarity call. But how do we commit to ourselves? We have the habit to commit to everyone else except to ourselves. This makes it challenging to commit to ourselves, especially if you are a people pleaser or if you have given up on yourself in the past. It thus becomes imperative to learn to commit and remain true to who we are. And here are four useful guidelines. Guide number one, take responsibility. Face the truth about who you are and what mistakes you have made. This helps you to move forward with compassion and self-love. It enables you to grow from your past and move on in a healthy way. Taking responsibility enables you to do an auto-evaluation of your life and experts say what gets measured gets improved. It starts with self-awareness, self-knowledge and self-realization which will make room for self-love and self-care. And these are all solid foundations upon which to build a new life. Guide number two, learn to say no to people and things that no longer serve you. Experts explain that for your years to have value, you have to learn how to use your no. You do not have to compromise your own happiness for others. This means that you must pick up for what you want and need, even if others might disapprove. In simple terms, do not change who you are to make people happy. Saying no to the things that interfere with your growth is a crucial part of remaining committed to who you are and who you want to become. Guide number three, focus on improving the things in your circle of control. This means that you accept that life happens and that there are certain things that, you, that are out of your circle of control. And because you cannot control any of them, the most important thing about these types of situations is what you learn from them. For example, we have no control over death. Therefore, we can only accept that sometimes life is unfair and try to find beautiful ways in which we can honor the memories of our departed relations. Another example is to accept that we cannot change other people. In relationships, for example, we can only tolerate the, to the best of our abilities and let go 
when the relationship becomes toxic. We should always keep in mind that we cannot help someone when they are not ready to be helped. Also accept that you will make mistakes or that you will fail at some point, but trust your bounce back because your focus is on the lessons from the challenges. This is what will help you to continue growing. Guide number four, learn to do something new. To reinvent yourself, you have to practice learning. Unlearn old habits and limiting beliefs that held you hostage in the past. Relearn how to use some old good habits that can serve you now. And learn new skills that will help you grow. To make learning a habit and internalize it as a lifestyle, you just have to keep learning something new every day. These new learnings are both training your brain for success and wiring it to see and recognize new opportunities. I will tell you another story to illustrate how this works. Two friends worked in a renowned shoe company for many years, and for the purposes of this video, we will call them John and Peter. There was a great recession and their company was forced to shut down and the workers were compensated. John had a good mentality and proposed to Peter that they use their compensation money to travel to a far off country and start their own shoe company because they were both skilled shoemakers and could buy some essential secondhand equipment from the defunct company. After some persuasion, Peter agreed to partner with John. The two decided that it was better for them to leave their respective families behind and go do a prospection in the chosen country. They would come back for their families if they found prospects. One week after exploring the environment, Peter told John that this was no market for shoes and he was going back. John tried in vain to persuade his friend to stay with him and see the opportunity. But Peter called his wife the following day and told her he was coming back home immediately because no one wore any shoes in that land and there was no use for making them. You must be kidding me, John told him. These people have no idea what shoes are. This is a golden opportunity for massive business. We will not only produce shoes and teach them how to wear them, but we will train new workers, create employment opportunities for them, and improve their living conditions. Everyone wins, and we all have a happy and rich life. He had a clear idea that the next steps and the golden opportunity at hand had to be seized and maximized. Peter did not see how and insisted on going back home. John had no choice than to plead with him to give him a few months before he could reimburse his part of the capital. John called his wife with great excitement in his voice, telling her he was coming home for them. He had found a huge promising virgin shoe market. These people here have no idea what shoes are. I will need all the time to produce the quantity of shoes to meet the demand. I will need help to teach them how to wear the shoes. And for all that to be done in a sustainable and cost-effective way, I will need my family here with me. Fast forward. Three months later, John was the CEO of a fast-growing shoe company with hundreds of people working for him and planned to expand to nearby countries which had similar market situation. He paid back Peter's share of the capital. And as we know, money that is not invested quickly runs out. Brain experts explain that the brain is elastic with the ability to reboot and remove patterns, habits, biases, and limits that no longer serve us. Imagine the number of times you reboot your phone or computer when they stop working. In the same way, we have unlimited potential. 
We have unlimited power. It all lies in our brain. It is our responsibility to train our brain every single day to see new opportunities for discipline, for perseverance, for happiness, and for success. Thank you for watching. I am your friend for your new journey to the best part of your life. Remember, I do not have a magic solution. I am your guide into self-discovery so you can unlock inbuilt answers and become your best version. Do not forget to send me a direct message on Instagram in the link below this video for a free clarity call. I will see you in the next video.